పద్మ విభూషణ్ డాక్టర్ మన్మోహన్ శర్మ ఫార్మర్ డైరెక్టర్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ కెమికల్ టెక్నాలజీ పద్మ విభూషణ్ డాక్టర్ ఆర్కే మషేల్కర్ ఛాన్సలర్ ఆఫ్ ది ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ కెమికల్ టెక్నాలజీ పద్మశ్రీ ప్రొఫెసర్ జిడి యాదవ్ వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్ ప్రొఫెసర్ జీ మేరీ లెన్ నోబుల్ లారెట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ రాబర్ట్ హెచ్ గబ్స్ నోబుల్ లారెట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ పిఆర్ వావ్యా డీన్ అకాడమిక్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ ప్రొఫెసర్ రేఖా సింగాల్ డీన్ రిసర్చ్ ప్రొఫెసర్ స్మితా లిలే రిజిస్ట్రార్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆర్ఆర్ దేశ్ముఖ్ కంట్రోలర్ ఆఫ్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్స్ మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ ది బోర్డ్ ఆఫ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అకాడమిక్ కౌన్సిల్ హెడ్స్ ఆఫ్ వేరియస్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్ గ్రాడ్యుయేటింగ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ అండ్ దేర్ పేరెంట్స్ మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ మీడియా ఇన్వైటెడ్ గెస్ట్ స్టూడెంట్స్ and ladies and gentlemen good afternoon and greetings to each one of you i am indeed very happy to be visiting this great institute of chemical technology and to share the joy of the graduating students on this day today i was very doubtful whether i would be able to attend this convocation perhaps you are aware that i am holding additional charge as a governor of tamil nadu a lot of political developments is taking place in the state the moment you put on tv set in your house tamil nadu news is coming and uh, various debates are going on now and then they also say where is the governor of tamil nadu i am very happy that i am here in the midst of you and by the side of noble laureates and the luminaries on the dais at the outset i congratulate all the graduating students who have completed their degree programs and who have become proud alumni of this world renowned institute of chemical technology this is indeed a momentous occasion in the history of the institute two nobel laureates are being presented with honorary doctors i applaud both of them for their outstanding work and congratulate them for accepting the honorary degree from ICT dear friends the institute of chemical technology a deemed university of maharashtra was placed at number 2 position among all indian leading universities by the ministry of human resources development nirf in april 2016 further it was ranked number 1 among premier universities indian institute of science bengaluru and all indian institutes of technology based on the criterion of the normalized citation impact index by the international agency web of science in september 2016 it is a matter of immense pride that the institution enjoys a global standing of number 4 among all chemical engineering programs i extend my heartiest congratulations to the vice chancellor the deans members of the faculty students alumni and support staff for this great achievement i also congratulate the very eminent science leader and chancellor of this institute dr r a mashelkar for guiding the destiny of the institute the institute of chemical technology was once a department of the university of mumbai it was then known as udct or the university department of chemical technology the institution is a classic example of how 
autonomy could be used to transfer our centers of excellence. I being the chancellor of 20 universities in Maharashtra, my first agenda in each and every meeting is about autonomy of the institutions that I am going to implement. Over the years, the ICT has produced 19 Padma Awardees, 3 Padma Vibhushans, 8 Padma Bhushan, and 8 Padma Sri's, 2 Fellows of Royal Society, and over 500 first generation industrialists and owners of Fortune 500 companies. This institution and its alumni exemplify the spirit of the, the Make in India mission and the vision of the Honorable Prime Minister of this country. Recognizing the important work of ICT, the government of Maharashtra has taken a decision to allot 200 acres of land to ICT for building a satellite campus in Marathwada near Aurangabad, Jalna. I am sure some of the ICT's proposed centers of excellence in waste management, pharmaceuticals, food processing materials, and energy will promote industrial growth in the region. The number of PhDs produced by the India in higher and professional education is significantly low compared to China. I do feel that we must have a comprehensive plan to achieve substantially higher number of PhDs across the streams in the country. In this connection, I am happy to know that about 700 PhDs and 450 master students of ITC are conducting cutting-edge research on this small piece of land. ICT is an example of how things must be done. This institute has always prioritized the relevance in the design of its curricula. The syllabus to create entrepreneurs and startup companies adopted by ICT is excellent. The first degrees awarded by the Institute of Chemical Technology were in professional disciplines. Its strong focus on relevance has ensured that the Institute has kept with the times. Numerous companies were started by ICT graduates and many were started on these premises. We are only recently talking of incubation centers. Such incubation, incubation centers were already part of ICT's culture for over eight decades. The Institute of Chemical Technology is truly an egalitarian institute that respects one body of work and not the person. Sons and daughters of India's richest industrial dynasties have shared benches with the students from the remotest villages in India. Rich or poor, everyone has a tricky time negotiating ICT examinations in their subjects. It speaks of the inclusive character of ICT, the culture of quality and success that permeates the hallowed campus resonates in the students who pass through these portals. Some of this institute's most famous alumni had no business background, but they have created industrial and intellectual empires that are beyond anybody's imagination. The government of India has launched many ambitious missions, maybe Swachh Bharat, Swast Bharat, Namami Gange, Make in India, Smart Cities, Skill Development, Startup India, Stand Up India, Digital India, etc. The role of your university in these missions is going to be crucial since you have been working on solving problems of the societal importance, energy, environment, clean water, solar energy, affordable health care, food, and the like. I am also aware of your institute's efforts in cleaning the Rankala Lake in Kolhapur using CSR funds. When I appointed the Vice Chancellor of the Kolhapur University 
he came to me very next day the courtesy call the very first advice i gave to him was to do swachh bharat and clean the rankala lake i think i personally request mashal karji just concentrate on that some there are some lacunas with that they are not able to complete it at the earliest and they are doing swachh bharat for all the students in a specific time for maharashtra temple railway station and also rankala lake but they are not able to complete it you have to put a word to them waste management is a huge problem for india and for the world as well icts research and innovation are greatly related to it incidentally dr mashal karji is the chairman of the expert panel of swachh bharat abhiyan and professor yadav is the chairman of the expert panel of the waste management programs of dst dear friends india has already emerged as the youngest nation in the world by 2020 the average age of the indian will be only 29 years that is 8 years younger than a chinese or an american entire world is looking towards us towards all of you they are also expecting much from you it is a demographic dividend for us but if we fail to guide the students our young generation if we fail to show a proper pathway for them the demographic dividend will turn into a demographic disaster therefore we have to be very conscious the government as well as the institutions they must go in this line because it is a double edged weapon and both edges of this path are very sharp it is necessary that we provide the best of education and skills to the youths to make them stakeholders and partners of this nation's progress and development we need the power of science technology and innovation to overcome the problems faced by the nation such as poverty hunger disease and unemployment the college of engineering pune had worked out mentorship arrangements with the iit mumbai and it helped the in bringing about the transformation of the college of engineering pune i am sure close collaboration between traditional universities with ict will help these universities immensely indian universities should aim to emulate universities in the united states of america and transform themselves into magnets for creative business america's universities have played a seminal role in fueling its economy the silicon valley and the biotechnology hubs in massachusetts and california are owe their establishment and success to the university based research programs with asian growing contribution to the global chemical industry india emerges as one of the focus destinations for chemical companies worldwide with the current size of approximately 108 dollars the indian chemical industry it is accounts for 3% of the global chemical industry with the current initiatives of the industry and government the indian chemical industry could grow at 11% annum to reach the size of 224 dollar billion dollars by 2017 greater investments in manufacturing in the chemical sector are absolutely essential to ensure growth of the indian chemical industry the state of maharashtra is proud of this jewel ict the only of its kind let us all ensure that ict remains the great institute to conclude let me once again congratulate all the graduating students and wish them success in their future academic pursuits research and profession i assure ict that the state of maharashtra will continue to support the institute and all its programs thank you very much jai hind jai maharashtra